Asanogawa, the river that runs through Kanazawa. The bridge spanning the river, Nakanohashi, used to be called Ichimonbashi because of the one mon toll required to cross. In the short story Kecho, written by Kanazawa native Kyoka Izumi, a mother and child appear to collect the bridge toll. The boy has seen the occasional person cross without paying. At school, his teacher tells him that a human being is to be valued more than the trees or the grass. Teacher, he blurts out, the flowers are much more beautiful than you. This is a story about how nature and people coexist in Kanazawa. As one season passes into another, the people, plants, animals and microbes come together to forge a single life together. When you look at a map of Kanazawa, it's a beautiful mosaic from what they call in Japanese Okuyama, the deep mountain areas. The rivers that start in the mountains, which are part of Kanazawa city, they flow down the mountain sides, across plains, and then out into the ocean. And before you reach the ocean, you have several coastal wetland areas. So there's so much diversity just within the city, geographically, and this lends itself to, to also to biological diversity. Traveling in, within just the city limits, I like to get on my bicycle and, and cycle um, along the riverways. Within a very small city limit, the change of the seasons is also diverse. Um, and the way the rhythm of the people as uh, the seasons change is, is also different. The different faces of, uh, the, that nature brings to the cityscape in Kanazawa is really beautiful. And uh, I think that's one of the things that I enjoy the most as a resident, that um, you're never bored with uh, the diversity that the city brings to you. It's November in Kanazawa. Kendokuen is bustling with tourists who have come to catch a glimpse of the crimson leaves and the yukizuri. Every year, beginning in November and continuing into December, a team of gardeners will tie down hundreds of trees to protect them from the heavy snows of the Hokuriku region. すごく重い雪なんですよ。で、実際は大した雪は降らなくてもね、その水分によって非常に枝にかかる重みが大変なもので、そこを雪ずりすることによって枝を守るという一つの方法があるわけですね。そういった樹木というのはこれだけの大きい松ではないんですね。せいぜいで8メーター、10メーターもないんでしょうね。で、県の県では少なくとも13メーター、15メーターという大きな、まして幅にも大きいということで、その新柱についてもね、普通町屋
careful stewardship has protected Ken Lokuen's trees for a long time. These geometrically designed ropes, a Hokuriku winter tradition, will be visible until spring comes to the region around mid-March. ま、仕事しとってなんか自己満足なんだけど綺麗に仕上がったとかできた時とけってやっぱええなとか思うけどま、大概そんな時ないですけどねあ、もうちょっとこっちか切った方が良かったんねえかなとか思うがおただなんです
Nowadays, he makes each umbrella by hand from start to finish for special order customers. The change from heavy snow to scattered rain signals the arrival of spring in Kanazawa. <laughs> 